Hi guys. It is a spectacularly gorgeous day here in the end times in paradise in uh, Garfield, Texas on this over the top beautiful spring morning Thursday, April 26, 2018. So I've got to destroy this beautiful day on the planet to be alive with my depressed collapsitarian whine coming up as soon as I uh, find the energy in my depressed collapsitarian uh, mind to uh, come up with it. But before I do that, I want to dive into the Humpty Dumpty Tribe mailbag for a couple of comments of the day. And while I just have this on my mind, I, I've just been noticing uh, that some of my lieutenants are missing in action. I, I, it appears that Brother Andy Gardner from Zombie Island has completely deserted uh, the tribe. I, Andy, when was the last time uh, you, you sent a comment. I, I'm hoping that Andy is uh, in love and not in, in, and not in prison uh, or curled up in a fetal position on uh, his closet floor. But uh, brother Andy, where are you? Uh, we, we need your, uh, we need your input. And Pukaloo, what is ever what's happened to you, brother? I haven't heard from Pukaloo in in been too long. Uh, I'm glad to see I have an email from Brother Max. Uh, let's all send a big hello, and we love you to Brother Max. And, and whatever happened to uh, Bacteria Man? colony of cells de la machine. I mean, this man used to be one of my number one uh, commenters. And how long has it been? It's, it's like three months ago, uh, Bacteria Man just completely has disappeared off the comment section. So, Bacteria Man, if you're still out there, we miss you, brother. Uh, whatever happened to you? Uh... You know, anyway, but even without those comments, we got uh, all sorts of new tribes members. This is a, uh, you know, down here in the Doomosphere, uh, a lot of people are, are transients. They come and go. Little dog, excuse me. Now, but we're going to start out uh, with this comment. I'm going to share two comments of the day. If perhaps this fellow uh, with the name Scott Davis, Scott Davis, uh, I don't remember uh, having a comment of the day from Scott, so perhaps he is new. This is Scott weighing in on uh, the conversation that I had with Vegematic a couple of weeks ago. If you have not, it's, it's on Vegematic's channel and on my channel. This is uh, Hambone Little Tail and Vegematic jabbering about the collapse of everything. And this is Scott Davis. <clears throat> this comment came in three hours ago. You both mentioned two options. I'm not sure Vegematic mentioned these two options, but anyway, we're talking about options to save the planet. <clears throat> You both mentioned two options, sterilize the entire human race, that would be option number one to save the planet, or end the consumption of fossil fuels immediately, which is almost as good as sterilizing the human race, uh, <clears throat> while either or both would go a long way to saving the only living planet in known existence, of course, neither is going to happen. Given, <clears throat> number one, America and other developed industrial countries are populated by and large by clueless, brainwashed, 
narcissistic sheep living in an unsustainable system financially and ecologically and this same population will fight to the end to hold on to this system, this unsustainable fucked system he's talking about. And number two, those not living in developed countries want either to emigrate to developed countries or to bring the unsustainable consumer lifestyle to their own country. Can we say China, India, Brazil, uh, on and on? Giving up fossil fuels? Ha! <clears throat> Sterilization? Double? Ha! Well, ha! What will happen? As you say, we will continue to speed collectively towards the brick wall at 67,000 miles per hour with a few inconsequential efforts to mitigate the symptoms. Think rearrange and maybe even sand and reupholster the proverbial deck chairs on the Titanic. And this, of course, what he's referring to, what Scott's referring to, is things like green energy saving the planet. And recycling saving the planet. And GMOs saving the planet. And we could go on with this. <clears throat> okay. Hitting the brick wall will make Mad Max or the road look mild. Those few of us with the burden of knowing, the burden of knowing need to try to find a way to enjoy the remnants of nature if one can find it hidden across the polluted, trash-strewn landscape while also preparing to die well. And there you go. Let's all prepare to die well <coughs> as the Mad Max future builds and the brick wall approaches. But kind of Moving uh, on with this theme, and as my segue into my uh, depressed collapsitarian rant, where your old depressed collapsitarian uh, lonely heart will be talking, uh, will be whining uh, somewhat about this subject again on this beautiful spring day. We're going to hear from Alert Tribes member Biosphere. <clears throat> I think Biosphere is in his early 20s. I'm pretty sure he's one of the younger members on Humpty Dumpty Tribe. <clears throat> Quote, It's a struggle for me to even try dating anymore since I know most girls I would date are clueless fucking morons that have either already bred or would want to breed at least two to three kids. And the fact that people are so fucking clueless is enough to make my dick shrink up like a little shrimp. Seeing human civilization for what it really is, human animals gone crazy, does something to your mental health. So I guess I have to live out the end days in celibacy. Guess I have to call myself bio no tail 
now. <laughs> well, Brother Bio, uh, especially if you are a young man, uh, you, you don't necessarily have to live out your days in celibacy, uh, but I would strongly recommend the single uh, biggest piece of advice I have for any young man or young woman on this planet, uh, and that is to get yourself sterilized. Get yourself sterilized, and uh, good luck on your, uh, your love life finding a non-clueless moron uh, member of the opposite sex to share your doomer life with. And with that as my segue, I'm going to come back with my, uh, with my depressed collapsitarian lonely heart whine. Uh, coming up in one minute when I get the energy to go there on this gorgeous day. Bye guys.